Yeah, so Kara Parisian, yeah, UFC 59. You obviously fought Keith Wasuski at UFC 56. Your next UFC bout is almost like a revenge bout because Caro had beat Strasser, and now you're his next opponent. How does that pan out? I mean, Parisian goes from a potential title fight with Mad Hughes to, you know, fighting you in your, in your second uh-huh. UFC bout. Yeah, man, I, I, I wish I would have known what I know now back then. Um, Carl was so much more skilled than me. Again, I, I had been at Minnesota for maybe six months. I was really just learning kind of the, I was really learning the difference between, you know, being tough, and, which is really all I had been to that point, you know, a decent wrestler and, and tough versus what these professionals that are good everywhere um, were. And so you know, I think frankly, in hindsight, I wouldn't have taken that fight. I wasn't ready for that fight. There, there is, there was no way I was going to beat Carl at that point in my career. He was just better than me. Well, you know, like you say, you've moved to Minnesota, but you, you've got Faircloth and O'Malley in your corner. Yeah, and I mean, I'd only been there six months, and so I still my, – my tightest connections were still back home or, you know, back in Wisconsin where I'd spent years. And so it was – you know, that was still kind of a transition time for me moving from, you know, Strasser's where really we just – beat the shit out of each other and we're tough. I mean, we had basic techniques, <laughs> but I didn't. Am I wrong, Chris? Oh, no, that's, uh, I mean, especially in the Midwest, there wasn't these super gyms. And I mean, I guess Iowa's the best, but they weren't even the best technicians. They were just tough, too, right. really. I mean, everybody's just in tough fairness, guys fighting. And in fairness to Strasser, I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm throwing him under the bus because that that was, you could get really far back then by just being yeah. tough. And, um, and that's what all we were. That's what all the Midwest guys were. That was it. Yep. And so, but there was, there was another level between that and the champions. Um, and, and, you know, that was kind of the point in my career where I was learning, Oh, I really don't know what I'm doing. I have a lot. I mean, <laughs> when I, when I first moved to the Academy again, I was already on the verge of getting the UFC got in you know, a few months after being there. Um, my goal when I was with Shirk and we rolled jujitsu, when we first started again, I'm at, I'm at the UFC level was to last a minute. That was my goal when we would roll, um, you know, it probably took a year before it was, last the whole round and it really you know then it was you know the next year last the whole day and it really wasn't even until the end of my career i was like all right i want to submit him more than he submits me did you did you ever think when you were there like do these people all think how the hell is this guy winning fights i mean did you think they thought like that because they, they, your technique wasn't there they told me that <laughs> <laughs> okay so they confirmed it how, how are you yeah. how are you doing this one <laughs> yeah so although, they, you know, I, i've always <laughs> i've always done better you know, in competitions than in, in practice. I was the same in wrestling. And so uh, I was really the same way. We've talked about that a lot. You know, there's, there's tons of guys, tons of gym fighters who are just the best guy in the gym and can't translate over to the fight. And then there's some guys who step up more in the fight and that's yourself. And those are the best guys, you know, the guys who are just, you know, unbelievably good when the pressure's on. But I mean, it, it is amazing how many gym fighters are the UFC. Like how's this guy not in the UFC? Because when a fight comes, they suck. But it's amazing how good they are in the gym. They have the talent. They just can't mentally deal with it. And I think mental toughness is the most important thing. And it sounds like you have it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, – every good gym has just stories that have guys that are just killers in the gym and, and yeah. can't put it together. Um, and I don't, I don't understand it because I've always been the opposite way. It's nothing that I've, I've trained. It's just I, I've always done much better in, in competition. I think part of it, though, is um, – my, my style, both for wrestling and also for fighting, was weird. And I'll, I'll do a brief non-sequitur with that. Then re-